For our case study, we present a SaaS business that has four software solutions. Each has a different price, a different number of units sold, and was introduced to the market at a different time. We set it up this way so that we can already expect that the contributions of each product in terms of price, volume, and mix will be different, as highlighted in this high-level overview of the company's performance in the first month. The prices shown represent the monthly values of the respective software solution. The volume represents the number of sales of each solution, and the mix is that volume expressed in percentage terms. Finally, the total column represents the revenue in the period, which is a function of multiplying price and volume. Now that we have the performance mapped out of our illustrated company, let's present the actuals for comparison purposes and dig into the effects of price, volume, and mix. From a total revenue perspective, the company has done well in accelerating growth overall. But the total growth alone does not tell the full story of how and why the company got to where it did. To tell the whole story, we must isolate the effect of price from the effect of volume from the effect of mix.